Welcome back. In this video, you are going to implement the mobile version of it. So if you, if you reduce the screen size, you can see that we have this drop down. So assuming these are the categories, right? So let's go ahead and implement that. So in this video, I'm going to show you another component in Material UI called Autocomplete. So let's search for Autocomplete here. And it's all about knowing the component and how it can do for you. So as you can see, you have a combo version of it and you also have the other versions as well. So I always say, depending on the nature of your application, then you can choose any of this style for your project. So I think this is cool for us, right? So when you click on that, we see that we have that. So to know how it's being used, it's pretty simple to, to use. Just open the source code. And first of all, look at the component itself and look at the props being passed in we see that here they pass in an options and these options are array of what object that is below here and then they provide a width of 300, 300 pixels here that's going to be the width of the the complete input and then the last one going to be the re a render input function and it pass in a text field and then just render that so we're going to use this one, the data here, top 500 frames, <laughs> so you can structure. So assuming that you are fetching this, this one from external API, all what you need is that you need to fetch that data, put them in state. If you're using Redux, you put them in Redux and then you just populate them into this option field. But because this, this is static data, we're going to use this one as, the, as a demo for demonstration. So let's copy this one, but for now, Let's go back to the uh, project and then let's start creating that component. So quickly, let's do that. So inside SRC component, we have product and this time around, I'm going to create um, mobile categories. So mobile version, is, the name is funny, mobile category, all right, .js. So quickly, let's do that, R-A-F-C-E. And there we go. So here I need autocomplete component for Material UI. So I'm going to import that autocomplete. There you go. So here, let me render that one as a self closing component like this. Okay. There you go. So the props here are let's get our data here. Or better still, we can let's consider const data here so like I said this one can be from um, external API that's been fetched and then place them here so for now let's use this dummy data here so let me copy the array of this data here and quickly let me come back here and then replace the data with this there we go so let me collapse this one and I'll show you where we need to take note of so here they provide a prop called disable portal okay disable portal here so if you look at documentation api you see how this one also works and the most important props here are the options the option takes what the data you want to display in our case it's a data above over there so and then the last thing is what just a function to render cool so the render function here is going to be say render to render that and it's a function like that then you pass in it takes a function here and this function we have access to what is called params <coughs> because if you look at the the result of the if you look at let me show you here if you look at the compo component and it clearly shows that we are using text field component here so we are going to pass we are going to pass the individual item here into this text field component so we need to require that one too so if you are not familiar with text field component let's quickly search for that and allow for user input so instead of normal um, native input you can use text text field for your input field okay so that's pretty easy to use so let's go ahead and do that so inside this for this render function here a passing is like this one and then when it returns I'm going to send the data to I mean uh, to the text component text field component so let's require the text field component here text field so 
um, let me show you one more time. This is a function, right? And then you want to re return GSX. So to be a carry braces like this, all right? So after the function, then return. So let me quickly, let me do it one more time. I think the syntax is like this, okay. Let me have some space below this, okay. So let's pass in the render function, the render function here. <coughs> render render input sorry it's render input rather is equal to then it takes params the, the argument we have access to the, the params so let's assign that one but if the property the argument is one you can choose not to write that so here we are going to return <coughs> jsx because you want to return a text input right and here let's return the text input text field sorry as that there we go so we can now spread all the params that is this input field is returning into the test field so that it can render that. So let's spread all the params. And then we can add additional properties from material UI for the text field. And we have a label determine what this one is using for. So it's called this one select products. Even though these are the movies, but we call it products. So don't worry about that. Just for and then you can pass align items align to be center all right so let's say align here the text to be center align is equal to center okay so let's save this one and now let's go back to the product container and then let's require mobile desktop okay. mobile categories <laughs> okay let me see the import but it didn't work so again let's try our luck no oh imported so here let's also render this to this component as that okay so we have two components the two so depending how you want it then we can display that's our logic we're using here now we have it as that okay so i don't want to display them at the same time so i want to display them dynamically based on the viewport or the screen size of the browser so here on a small screen i want to display the mobile version of it and a large screen on display the desktop of it so we have two ways of achieving this that is using the use media query and the use theme as we did for the navbar so let me show you one more way of doing it right cool we are going to make use of the sx prop and the box component to do that so let's quickly do that here so for the box let me show you here so for the box component here we have the box as that and this box is for this let me place it here and another box is offered for the mobile version of this okay let me place in here as that let me remove this one from here okay cool so now i want to make some conditionals here and because i have access to the sx prop here i'm gonna determine the display right the display whether block or inline or none so display here i want to check that on extra small screen i want to say this one is supposed to be none so if it is none it means that <coughs> sorry guys this one we're not going to show right on the, the categories one desktop one so let's see now you see it's gone all right but i want to show it on a large screen and see on a large screen i want to say block right as that there you go so on a large screen it will appear so the same thing applies to the mobile version as well so here sx prop and i will say for the display i want to make some conditions here as i did above and i will say that on a extra small screen extra small screen i want to bring it back block and on large screen i will say none so let's save it and let me show you what we are going to achieve you see it's gone but when i reduce the screen size of it you could see that i have it being displayed as that perfect so let's have some margin for that so let me head over to the auto complete here and say sx prop sx prop here and let me give it margin top let me give it as eight 
and the margin bottom to be also eight so let's see yes i think we have much space there all right so guys this is how we make use of that to implement the category section of it so the last part here is going to be the product and we're going to be the same way we did we go we're going to put it easy just a great system for allowing the items here and some items inside the product okay so let's do this one the next video